What is up, gents? Dirtbag Gaming here, the channel for casual raiders. We are doing a secret room number four, rare spirit champions only. So this one took me about a week to really kind of get the champs leveled up. Had to wait for CVC, obviously, to level up uh, some of the champions. But we're going to make a video with one, two, three fifties, one level 59, and a level 60. We'll go over all the gear, masteries, everything I have on them. Um, if you guys have two of this girl uh just run two of her uh if you have two narrow horns run two narrow horns you probably don't need them level 60 you can get away with them at level 50. uh this chick was just kind of a bonus i threw in there just for her allied attack whatever it may be but i would probably go th these three two narrow horns or these three and two of uh the soulbound chicks but we were able to do with this and we will show you how uh, usually manualing it uh, is definitely going to be the way to go. So we're going to try to manual it and then we'll show you everything at the end. And I had uh, auto on. <laughs> Alright, so coming in, uh, we have manual. Now what you're going to want to do is, before you even start, this is just a little, little tip, I guess. Maybe, is it a tip? Alright, so you're going to want to do uh, A1 and see how many you stun. So only one stun. So I'm going to Click this, leave battle, and I'm gonna go right back in. And then I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna do A1, see how many we stun. We got one stun, but it was on the good target, which, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll keep going. So you wanna kinda of get like two stuns off, at least two stuns off, um, and then keep going. Cause if, if you don't get any stuns, literally just restart. You're, you're at the beginning anyway. So I'm not, I'm not gonna heal anybody cause nobody needs to be healed yet, but we're gonna try and kill the spirit host because she's the one that cleanses all the debuffs. She has a ally, two random allies. So sometimes you don't get her, which again, you might just wanna reset. There you go, see, we didn't get her. So it's literally, I would probably just reset. <laughs> uh, cause with the ally attacking, she does her A1, which then can stun more people. So that's a little thing. If you have two of her uh, with one of her, you're more likely to get a lot more stuns off. Let's do it again. All right, so no stuns. So I'm going to restart. All right, so let's, let's try it one more time. So we're going to A1, no stuns. Let's restart. <laughs> there is a literally 23% chance to stun, and we're not stunning anybody. She has a stun set on, uh, and she has the mastery to increase her stun by 5%. So let's get some stuns. Cool. Same stun, same same check. So let's just attack her. Uh, ally, ally attack. We didn't get her. <laughs> so then we're just going to keep going. Uh, so why? Oh, she has Relentless, by the way, just kind of for fun. She does put out poison. So if you want her accuracy a little bit higher. Now, this is why you have Nahrhorn, just to kind of provoke everybody uh, and take some of the beating. Now, this is what this guy does. So we're going to do just try and attack everybody first. And you also have her decrease uh, turn meter. So she's really, really good for this. Let's do some damage. So we got not a ton, <laughs> but there you go. So we got everybody's provoked, so we don't have to do this yet. 75% chance to fully deplete the turn meter. This one just does a lot of damage, uh, but we're going to try and stun more people. But really, her is the one you're looking out for because she's the one that cleanses everybody. We're just going to keep attacking her. He's going to put up a unkillable once he gets to his turn. So he's going to unkill himself. And then we're going to try and kill this chick. 31k, so not, not bad. And now we can either kill her. I'm looking at my turn meter. It's only her left, so she's probably going to cleanse everybody. So she has to reduce the turn meter, which she does. And then we can probably put up this because we're going to get hit. So everybody gets a shield and heals. Cool. So we killed the Spiritus. Good job. Now it's literally just trying to survive this, <laughs> which it's pretty freaking hard. I did this once to, earlier today, and that's why it was already completed. But like, obviously you can see nobody's really kitted out for health or anything like that. So it all comes down to just R and RNG, R and RNG. Uh, let's try this again. 
Stuns, no stuns, reset. I should probably record this and just go over <laughs> RG with that. Cool, we got two stuns, and let's just try and go after the uh, the spirit host. There we go. We got her in the ally protect or ally attack. We got a stun off, so that's three stuns. We don't need to provoke. This is this is what I'm talking about. So this is why you're doing manual. You probably don't need to provoke because three people are stunned already. And you only have two uh, attackers. So we're really just going to try and attack the spirit host to kind of do some damage. Um, and then we're going to do this on everybody again. Cool. So now we can reduce the turn meter of the guy who's going to attack us. And then we're going, we don't need to heal yet. Now, now we're going to have to heal. But now we can provoke everybody. So now everybody's provoked. So it really doesn't matter who we're, uh, who we're trying to stun. So you have up to, you can try and do this, which just does more damage, um, or try and stun more people. So we're going to just try and do more damage. Cool, stunned and more damage. So we're gonna try and heal everybody. She can't heal herself, but here we go. He's now unkillable, got four provokes out. Do we get any stuns? Nice, two stuns. And we're gonna kill the spirit host, all right, cool. So now the second and third wave I think are easier because we don't have a spirit host in those. So it's literally just all about uh, CCing and making sure that he can provoke everybody. Oh, that's not good. So she's sleeping. Can we stun everybody? Nice, got a stun off. Ally, come on. So it's like always just a chance if we can get her to go or not. All right, can we one shot this dude? Nope. Uh, reduce turn meter on him. He's already stunned. We could probably get back around because it's a three turn cooldown. So we're going to try and provoke everybody. And then we're going to. Uh, we can't heal. But there he goes. This is, this is all the CC. So you got provokes. You got the reduced turn, uh, cooldown. You got stuns. He's the DPSer. So let's try and DPS. And now you want to start thinking about cooldowns. So he's probably not going to die. But we could do this just in case. Now it's all about just focusing down and, and you know making sure that this guy doesn't die. Really, anybody doesn't die. But they're both stunned, so I'm just targeting this guy. His uh, provoke is about to be up, so we're good for wave two. Um, everybody, this is a four turn cooldown, so I don't want to do that one. This is a three turn cooldown. So we're going to save it. Don't need a heal as of yet. A ones, dead. He's got poison on him, but he's stunned. So we'll just keep focusing this guy down. Extra turn. He's probably gonna die to the poisons. Cool. Now all the cooldowns are up, so we're gonna go into wave two. And let's see how many people we can stun. One stun, all right. Uh, reduce attack, nope. Ally attack. Oh, we didn't get her again. So now let's see if we can do anything here. She heals a lot. <laughs> so making sure that you can CC her is definitely crucial. Um, let's try and kill her. Nice. Now we have to get the unkillable buff on that dude. But we'll throw up a heal on everybody just in case. Throw some poisons out on the main DPSers, which will be like these two. So let's try and hit this guy really hard. She, again, she heals. So make sure you're watching her turn meter, but we're about to reduce it. Nice. With a stun. Heal this guy back up. And focus on the extra turn. That's why I put the Relentless set on him, just so she can do the ally protect a lot more. All right, so hopefully we just don't get one-shotted by these freaking dudes. Stuns? Nice, nice. Decrease attack, no. All right, ally. Nice, we got her. So let's see if we get a stun off. We do not. But we're looking good. We're looking good. We don't need the provoke right now. Hopefully we can get a stun off. No stun. 
but I'm uh, she again is probably gonna heal. So I just wanna I just wanna kill the, the attacker so I don't freaking die. Do we We're gonna provoke, we're gonna provoke. Because I think we can have him go two more times. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try and get his cooldown back up. Alright, so now she's probably gonna nope, she has her A1. So we have a two turn cooldown, so basically we have to just keep A1 wanting. Hopefully we can get it back around. Extra turn. Extra turn. Alright. Cool. So his cooldown's up for next 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 turn. So we I wanna save this. Yeah, we'll do this. I just don't want her to heal right now. All right, cool. Third wave, here we go. See, first wave is the hardest. All right, now this guy, be careful. This guy, that's all right, I need to do A1 anyway. This guy you want to kill last because if you, I guess if you want to kill him first because he brings somebody else back to life if he dies. So maybe that's what you want to do is you want to kill him first or last because then it's, it's basically GG anyway. All right, so who are we gonna try and kill? I literally just said kill this guy and I'm attacking the other dude. <laughs> oh, all right, so she has the the accessories that reset a skill cooldown, 5%, two of them. So should we reset the ally uh, attack again? Uh, so let's go after this guy. Do we get any stuns? No stuns, but maybe we can one-shot this guy. Oh, I, keep, I keep saying kill this guy and we keep going after that guy. So now we get everybody's provoked. That dude's frozen. That's not good. Uh, we're going to do reduced cooldown on this guy. Ah, oh, it didn't work. We're going to heal that guy. Yeah, we're going to heal that guy. We're going to poison the dude that comes back to life. He has so much health, though. Like, the first time I did it, I didn't, I didn't target him. That's probably why. Uh, we need to stun some people. Give me some stuns. We got one stun. Let's heal everybody. Now, what's great about the secret rooms is you don't have to have everybody survive to win. You just need to finish the wave. So even if one of these guys die, we're still able to do it. All right, he had one provoke on me. Let's put on killable buff on myself. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to save this guy for last because he's not really doing much right now. All right, ally, do we get her? No, we don't get her. But she's going to do her A1 anyway because she's provoked. Yeah, so again, first first wave, just keep resetting it if you're not getting a lot of stuns. But and also think about it, like we 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 have 350s in here <laughs> and we're getting we're getting the stage done. Nar Horn is so freaking good. And then we, we leveled up one really good uh, Berserker for our DPSer. But it'll make yourselves a lot easier if you have two Gnarl Horns or if you have two uh, Soulbound Boyers. Alright, so now it literally doesn't matter. Again, if we kill him, uh, somebody else will be rezzed up. So we're going to try and go after this guy. He has a lot of freaking health too. But it look, it's it's looking good. Stun. Nobody needs oh you need seals. And then now we did a video on uh, Mother Superior a while back, and she's such a cool rare. Uh, and if you have her early on, you're you're going to be using her in a lot of dungeons. All right. So now again, watch. We're going to kill this guy, and somebody's going to get res back up. But it doesn't matter because everybody else is dead. So I get to go again. Res back up. Get to go again. And turn meter is zero. So, yeah. Now it's zero again. <laughs> uh, nobody needs heals. Narhorn. <laughs> this, is, this is GG. All right. So after this, we'll go over everybody's. Uh, there you go. We got it. Fastest run, too, while recording. All right, so this is the team. Most damage, obviously, was Soulbound Boyer at 400,000. Oh, no, Berserker did 900,000. 
But Soulbound Boyer with our AOE did 428,000. Now let's go over the champions and what you're going to, excuse me, need to figure this out. Um, best, now I did this because I want to take all the gear off <laughs> my Berserker, but we're going to start with Berserker. You need a DPSer. Either you need CC or DPS. We went with the DPS because I want to just clear it faster. Um, but why, why he's good is he gets the go again. Text one enemy, grants an extra turn uh, if, the ta if the target is killed. So potentially you can do a lot of damage and keep going, um, reducing the, the cooldowns of this, which attacks all enemies twice. I uh, will ignore 20% of the, of the each target's defense. So I have him in Savage and I have him in Helm Smasher. <laughs> so basically you can ignore up to like 75, 80% of the target's defense, uh, which then he hits really freaking hard because I don't have any defense down in this comp. But this also helps. Fills Champion's turn by 30% if the attack is critical, which most of the time you're going to have a crit rate of 100%. So I saw him, I was like, all right, he's a farmable champion. You can get him in, in the campaign. So if you don't have him, you want to use this build, do that. Uh, the mastery is, again, we went down to just do damage. Let me move my head. So we went down just to do damage, uh, all the way down to Helm Smasher, and uh, do more damage on first hit, on the second hit, and this actually procs a couple times. So 50% chance to counterattack when he loses HP, which he will, and then it increases his turn meter by 30%. So that's a pretty cool combo. But that's 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 our Berserker. He's in Savage Set. We have just, I pulled all the gear that I had off on, on somebody else. Like this was from uh, uh, Foley. <laughs> this was from Magnar. Uh, this was from my Rhodos. So literally just pulled the best gear I can just to do the, this stage. But uh, attack banner, best banner I had. This one uh, didn't want to level up because I didn't have the artifact enhancement event going. But this was the best attack ring I had. So total stats again, nothing crazy, guys. I, I just did, I just made a video of him specifically in PvP and PvE. Um, so go check that out. But it's a whole thing on him just doing 150,000 damage in PvP, which is pretty funny. So 4,300 attack, not a lot of attack. Uh, okay, crit damage, 93% crit rate, uh, and all the other stats don't matter. You do want him fast, like you don't want him super slow. This is pretty slow. But if you can get him around like 180 to 200 plus speed, you'd be good. You want him to hit hard. Like you don't want to lack on attack just for the speed. Like I'd rather put him down to 180 and get more attack because of the ally attack. You know, um, his increased turn meter is uh, ignoring the defense. Like he's he's going to be your DPSer. So then we got our first level 50, which is going to be our Narrowhorn. Narrowhorn is strictly there just for this and make him unkillable. So again, having two of these just makes things so much easier. But places of provoke, not a chance. Places of provoke on all enemies for one turns uh, increases defense on this champion for two turns. Really good. Three turn cooldown. Uh, then places unkillable on this champion for two turns. So you have to make sure he's fast enough to make sure that he doesn't die. So he puts out the provoke. He goes again and then does this. He survives one turn and then he's able to do it again. Provoke this. Provoke this and just keep doing it on rotation. Text one enemy damage increase. This really doesn't matter. <laughs> You're only bringing him in here for these two skills. Masteries, no masteries, doesn't really matter. Artifacts, I just want to make sure his uh, accuracy is high enough. I have him at 240, so if you're above 220, I believe, you should be good. I just want to get him as much accuracy so he's good, and I just put as much defense as possible on him. He's a level 50 rare, so I actually got him up to 2,600 defense uh, with all the artifacts. Now, you can go HP. It's your call. Like, if you want to go HP gloves, go HP gloves. But I want defense gloves. Defense, you can go HP this if you want. Um, speed boots, as much defense as I possibly can get. Defense and speed and accuracy. Defense, speed, accuracy. That is what we're looking for. So the speed, 191. So that's what I was able to get away with. If you have them at 220, even better. Just make them super fast so you, you never have the enemy team go. Honestly, if you just want to go and... 250 plus speed on an hour horn. It'll probably be pretty freaking easy for you. Uh, second 50, Mother Superior. We don't have any masteries on our Mother Superior. Just a little bit of healing. Skills, uh, why she's so good is because she just really heals. Like if you want to put her in a relentless set, I probably would. But she's going to heal, put a shield buff um, uh, on any surplus. She has a speed aura, so if you want to put her as the speed lead, you can. Uh, I think I did... I don't, I don't, who's my, I think, was my Boyer my leader? Just because, yeah. So I did crit rate because he was, he will, he wasn't at 100% crit rate, so she was the leader. 
Um, but you can put her as a leader because it's speed in all battles, which is really good. So that's also why she's very good. And she has a decreased attack on her A1. It's only a 35% chance, but it happens sometimes. Artifacts, I just put whatever I had on her, so nothing crazy. HP, HP, speed, uh, really good speed roll, uh, speed HP, and speed. Then we have total stats, 43,000 on a 50, which is pretty good. Uh, 215 speed, which is good, and all the other stats don't matter. Really just want HP as much as possible so she can live. Uh, and 215 speed, so really, really fast. Then we got this chick. This chick was just thrown in here. I didn't really want to level her to 60, but why we brought her in is because of this. So she ha attacks with two random allies, so sometimes you get her to attack with you on her A1, which attacks all enemies, and she's in a stun set, so that's why you bring her. Um, if you wanted to bring two soulbound boyers, she would be even deadlier. So if you have two soulbound boyers instead of berserker with her, you're more likely a chance to get more stuns off. So if you do more stuns and gnar horns provoke, you can literally go soulbound boyer, soulbound boyer, soulbound boyer, but that, that's just pointless. I, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> uh, probably two soulbound boyers, gnar horn, mother superior, and either a DPS or, uh, hear ya. I don't know where you get her. I don't know if she's farmable or not. But 25% chance to flick. So she's going to crit. Um, she puts out three poisons, potentially. Uh, which, you know, does some extra damage. But this is really why I'm bringing her. Four turn cooldown. She has a crit rate, which is only in arena. No masteries whatsoever. But uh, we do have a relentless set. Nothing crazy. We have crit rate, attack. Speed, I could probably put an HP banner on her just so she doesn't die. Or HP chest speeds, I don't know why I put attack. It's probably all I had. Speed, speed, and speed. I want her super fast. She's at 211 speed. Uh, 75 crit rate, nothing else. <laughs> like literally, these are terrible stats, guys. Very, very you could do a lot better than this. Um, but yeah, and also these two down here, I was telling you we have these because of the 5% chance to prevent skill cooldown, which you guys saw. Is worth it because uh, she prevent she resets this and just does it again. So she, she does this twice, which is pretty cool. All right, so those are our three fifties. Level fifty nine. We already went over berserk. Yeah, and then the MVP, I guess, soulbound boyer. If you have two of her, use two of her. But she's in a stun set. Um, Nothing crazy, 218 speed, which is pretty good. She has a crazy amount of increased crit rate. So she, all of her skills gets an extra 25% and she's the lead aura. So that's 37% extra crit rate. So if you do the math, that is 100% crit rate. So you need to get her up to 63 crit rate. It's kind of like a cold heart. 63% crit rate, then you're at 100% crit rate if she's the leader. 209 crit damage, um, 139 accuracy. Like she doesn't really need the accuracy because the stun set doesn't need accuracy. Um, and then everything else is kind of basic. 48,000 HP. She is level 60. So she does have her full masteries. And you want to get that down to here. So Fearsome Presence gives you an extra 5% to stun. Everything else is whatever. Uh, she can counterattack if she does this. Um, she gets the increase of turn meter. I probably would have should have done this one. But the other team is not really going, so you don't really need to do that. You probably just need to do this. So these two, because you don't want the other team to go, <laughs> so this probably won't ever proc. Um, but at least she'll able to she'll be able to do this if she does get hit. And she's a chance to put out uh, leech on the stuns, and that's about all you need for her. Then artifacts again, you just want HP with uh, a little bit of damage, so we have crit damage, HP, speed, speed HP, no no glyphs, uh, speed. This is actually a really good set that is on our soulbound boyer. Uh, we have defense, crit damage, and so she probably out of everybody has the best gear set that we have, and berserker. So you go. That is the team. That is our <laughs> secret Doom Tower stage. Uh, more of these are going to be coming out hopefully this week, uh, if not soon. So definitely make sure you guys are subscribed so they actually pop up for you guys. Uh, we have to go through all these and kind of see what we have. Some of them are just super easy. I'll probably do a couple of them at a time. But this one we needed to specifically section out to kind of show you some different options and, and, and what gear you really need. I tried this guy, but I only used this guy once just for the 
um, Scarab King. So I didn't want to level him up because there's really no point. He just puts out a shield. And this guy I didn't want to level up as well. So this is my only spirit rares I have. So these are literally what I had to use. So like, screw it. Let's just do it. All right, guys, let me know in the comments below if this helped. I appreciate you clicking on the video. Uh, join the clan if you haven't already. We need three spots because of clan versus clan. We're always crushing. Um, shout out to my boys up here. Um, and yeah, let me know if you guys are, are interested. Hit me up in uh, Discord if you guys want any account takeovers or um, things for me to log in and help you out. But yeah, good luck and uh, we'll see you in another video soon.